Yeah, I found the nonprofit's president has a history of working for Democratic politicians and organizations. The website stating the nonprofit wants to get more people of color, unmarried women, and young people to vote. In response, the president tells me his organization is purely nonpartisan. I'm disturbed by this. This is intimidation tactic. Dorothy O'Bannon was clear when she spoke with 11 News Investigates on Thursday. She didn't think the Center for Voter Information or anyone else should be able to send people letters that include whether they voted in past elections and whether their neighbors have as well. The nonprofit's president, Tom Lopak, told 11 News Investigates on Thursday, it's not an intimidation tactic, it's an effort to get out the vote. Folks like to behave in line with societal norms, and if we can demonstrate that neighbors are voting regularly, why don't you want to be like your neighbors? You're saying it may get under people's skin, they might find it a little bit intimidating, but the response is, you know, they should just recycle it and go out and vote anyway. Yes, this is a proven marketing technique. We have tested it every election cycle for the past 20, 21 years, and we found that it is incredibly effective. We shared Lopak's explanation with Jared DeMarinus, who oversees Maryland's elections. Well, I I would never want to uh, intimidate people to vote. I think that uh, th there's a civic duty to it. I, I don't believe in fear tactics to uh, motivate people to vote. Demarinus's message for people who received the mailer. Come out and vote. Uh, don't be intimidated by anything. Make your voice heard. And that's the key to everything. We told Lopak that we were checking with law enforcement about the legality of the letter. They're all going to get back to me and say, what you're doing is perfectly legal and there are no issues with it. Is that correct? Absolutely. It is perfectly legal. We wouldn't do something if it was illegal. Not so fast, says Maryland's Attorney General Anthony Brown. His office sent Lopak this cease and desist letter Thursday evening, ordering CVI to stop sending the letters and to agree within 24 hours. But in its response Friday morning, CVI refused, stating their mailers simply urge people to vote calling the accusations in Brown's letter false and irresponsible. CVI states it expects Attorney General Brown to, quote, withhold taking any legal action and states more mailers will be arriving in Maryland mailboxes soon. For 11 News Investigates, I'm Tolly Taylor.